Okay, we are in the physical uh, chemistry class. The goal is predict the future of molecules and uh, materials through wavy nature of electron. Now we are considering auxiliary world with one electron in the, in the universe. And uh, we already achieved uh, last, uh, achieved, uh, we achieved last time to predict that uh, it seems to expand and we made connection to so-called uncertainty principle. So what one cannot determine where alpha is uh, if we know its velocity or uh, it travels uh, with a distribution of velocities if we know where it is, right? Okay, um, for the today, we can go over, over it uh, a little bit more. And uh, later on, <clears throat> after we yes, do the we, we are comfortable with ideas, we will focus on to aspect of proving that the center of this uh, electron distribution will go forward with uh, constant velocity. But we will not accomplish it today, it's more, more like the next time. And I will speak about some administrative plans, like uh, homework stocks uh, at the beginning. So that we are on the same page. Um, if you, you're very welcome to submit uh, homework if, uh, for regular submission, not uh, early today. I saw something in, in, in the homework, and let me in the in the in, let me quickly show uh, about problem three. What is expected? I think it is like a key answer key for, for problem three. Um, if you are not comfortable with it, or if you want to um, object or stop me, uh, please uh, go forward. So um, let, me, let me show the, I just tried that I can do it myself after, after years. And uh, so here is the answer that uh, we are seeing. And uh, first thing that we do is uh, expanding the initial condition of the past over the uh, plane waves, right? And then one is uh, converting it into integral where everything is minus i x minus x. So uh, dx. And now, what is the logic of the next step? I know that I know how to take integral of the e to the power minus x squared, but I do not know how to literally take e to the power minus x squared plus first power. So I should convert new form into the old form to have some, uh, to uh, find such variable, such system of coordinates or uh, power of exponential will look like uh, minus u squared, right? And uh, in order to, uh, to do it, I am considering the power of exponential as, um, So I, I want to see something, something squared, e to the power something squared, and uh, some uh, something squared uh, taken from summation is can be obtained as e to the power minus a squared plus two ab plus b squared. So. If I can identify this equation as this one, then I can uh, convert sum into product. Uh, I remember from my middle and high school, and probably you, you also, you were uh, you all were hating math. There were a lot of uh, trainings that convert sum into product, product into sum, not only in trigonometry but in basic algebra. Right. So here is one example when it is needed. We need to convert 
uh, some interproduct in the fourth quarter. Uh, on the top, there are two terms. On the bottom here, there are three terms. How do I get three terms on the top? I basically add and subtract something. So add something and then subtract something. So the, uh, then uh, equation stays correct. So the question is what to add and what to subtract. So um, the first term x uh, squared over, over sigma can be considered as a squared, right? If I take x over this square root. And then I know that this is my little a. If I want to consider a second term as a product of two a, b, I need to find, oh, okay, I can take x divided by something as a and something is square root of sigma, but in order to stay correct, I need to multiply and divide in the same term. So this is my little a. And then after I have it, the rest uh, should look like two a b. So in order to have two, I multiply it by two and divide it by two, and then consider everything except two and a as b. So uh, I k square root of sigma divided by two will be my little b. B is not like uh, the flying in seven, but uh, b like uh, second letter in alphabet. And then if I define this as a b, if I want to see this uh, polynomial, I will take this b squared plus b squared minus. And then uh, I do have three terms here and then the fourth term. So I'm not lucky today. I have either two or four, but the last term does not depend on integration variable. So I can uh, move it up front before the integral. Make sense? So uh, let me check uh, on the line because there, there was some dis discussion questions. Uh, Please speak or type if uh, if this logic uh, seems strange or or if it is uh, if you approved. Okay, I think it, no, no one objects. So uh, continue. So after identifying full square, I will have only a plus b, a plus b squared. And then the free term will go into uh, will go into the yes. So the free term goes up front, and here I have my little a plus little b squared. But now, since it is a product, not product squared, I can consider everything in in the brackets as a new variable. I will call it u. Right. And this uh, e to the power b squared comes to the front. Now uh, I have exponential minus u squared. And here I was integrating over uh, increment dx. Right? If I want, so differential of, of a constant is zero. So I can put little brackets here and there. And um, plus any garbage. I can write any constant here if, I, if you want to change the result. So this is considered here as a garbage. And if, if I want to divide it by square root of sigma, then I need to multiply it by, by square root of sigma. Okay. And then I bring it to the same shape as it was here. So instead of dx, it, it will be du. And then it is integral of e to the minus u squared du, which we know is a definite integral that equals square root of pi. And the rest will be our actual answer. So the, the answer will be, and, and if I take uh, i k squared i to the minus, uh, minus i into this like, I to the second power will be minus one. So we get rid of imaginary unit and have minus k squared sigma four and here square root of pi sigma. 
So we used it as an input to our next step. Let me double check if everyone is happy uh, in the chat. Make sense, make sense. Yeah, thank you, teams. Thank you, Spencer. Okay. I hate who works and I think you hate them too, but uh, we need to do a little bit. And um, here is my, so we, um, we need to agree on administrative things on presentations and, and another whole. Um, for presentations, technically we still can do it this Friday, but I think it will be too much of, uh, of pressure because you guys didn't sign up for things and it will be a little stress. So uh, what if we do presentations next Friday and homework, uh, this homework will be to the Monday after the weekend. Okay, Thanks, that's to me, sure. Uh, please uh, uh, either approve or just uh, stay silent if if uh, works for me. Thank you, Spencer. Okay, thank you, Conrad. So, uh, more? Thank you, Tim. So, um, since probably no one does who works too early, I will speak about it on Friday as well, since we are not doing presentations. But basically, first one is uh, just practice commutation. Just look, look and see. And do not look on these numbers. It's from previous uh, years ago. You did. We just agreed. Uh, uh, verbal between us. So uh, number two is just copying something from uh, from notes. And uh, number three is uh, practicing the bridge, practicing connection between theory and experiment, between the real world and uh, and our class. So if we assume that uh, uh, wave function is uh, Gaussian centered at point x naught. Then the question and observable is position operator. So the question is, what will be the expectation value? What will be the position of uh, of electron by practicing wave function times position and integral? And mathematically, this is not uh, it's not too challenging. It, it, it's uh, easier than the previous one. It's this one is just copying from the text. And the number five is uh, mathematically, it's very cheap. It's just uh, meditating a little bit. So we do not need to spend two, three years in college. Any high schooler can, can do it, but we need to meditate and understand what, uh, what are implications and uh, how to start thinking about it. So, um, please do not be scared, I'll tell mathematical terms. So we need to solve the problem with boundary conditions. So take a function and match boundary conditions and later on we will need it when we describe how electron bumps into a wall. So when an electron bumps into a wall, the probability to find it exactly at the edge and the kind is zero for sure. And you need to modify our wave function in such a way so that you will be always zero at a certain point. Okay, enough. Let's start uh, attendees of the class and eight subjects. So let me invite you to uh, pull the uh, link. I believe I made everyone editor. And please uh, type your name. And yes, uh, being <laughs> quick, you can find a sweet spot in front of your colleagues. Uh, <laughs> I, I will then uh, approve and, and, and um, ask if, if you want something. Uh, like you, you, choice one, choose two. Okay. Okay. 
So uh, while you are typing, let me check who is uh, actually connected to the to, to those who are not connected. I will probably uh, take initiative. So there are only well, four on the line and two here. So two are missing. So we do not have uh, Kennedy and I'll check the list who is, who is missing. So always, would you like to be a programmer? Would you like to uh, select scripts? I think it's quite uh, quite creative and interesting, but uh, you have. Why well, could not? <laughs> okay, I'm not good with script. Well, uh, if you are typing that you're not good with scripting, it means uh, you know what scripting is, and it will be uh, not uh, how to say. Uh, big surprise if an average attendee of the class does not know what scripting, scripting is. Uh, okay, okay, whatever, whatever you, you want. Um, uh, just type it in and we'll, 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 go, we'll go with it. But uh, we all will do scripting uh, later on and uh, as a relief for mathematical derivations. I assure that it is so much uh, easier than uh, solving this uh, differential equations and equations. Ah, uh, August, Connor is taking your spot about dynamic products. <laughs> so, okay, Jared, Connor, Spencer. And if something is uh, taken, uh, do not hesitate to uh, uh, type a sec second one. I'll try to uh, make sure that everyone is happy and, and make arrangements one to one. Um, well, I could try the scripting part, just it may be a little much. I have a, oh, I, I'm sorry to hear the issue of strong health. Maybe, wow. Well, we, um, if there are strong things, we can find a way, like uh, do it later or, or do it earlier, just record and we put play recording so we can uh, find a way to, to, to solve. Yeah, and in the hospital you can uh, code only uh, by, by, by words. Um, well, uh, write down uh, your choice in, in anywhere you like and uh, uh, go over, over things uh, for analyzing. Okay, while uh, you guys are still a few minutes, I will, uh, I'll go forward with material because time is, is uh, going by. And today's lecture is not ambitious. I, uh, I, I will partially repeat what we already did. So, um, by taking input from the whole work, so it's basically a repetition of, of things from previous uh, previous video. So uh, we are plugging in the uh, the stuff from the homework. And now we integrated over k instead of x. And uh, we are practicing the same uh, thing of identifying um, full square. So we have two terms, but we, we need four. And uh, by uh, carefully uh, practicing the same, the same ideas, the third term comes inside, fourth term, uh, comes outside and gives this, this stuff that uh, gives the answer. If one plugs like all, uh, all things inside, then one is getting the, uh, the answer for the wave function. So with imaginary uh, uh, unit in the denominator and expands linearly, linearly in time. But as far as we are interested in distribution of 
probability something observable that we can discuss. We, we need the wave function conjugated times wave function. So we, we take conjugation of this wave, wave function by putting minus instead of plus in front of i and multiply this stuff by, uh, uh, by itself. And after doing it, we are getting the uh, Gaussian function that this parameter starts with original V and then it expands quadratically. So it was our original hypothesis that we create, we inject localized electron in the vacuum from let's say electron gun and then it makes fatter and fatter, expands over, over uh, different uh, areas. Right? And uh, just, just in case if uh, you think you may need to do it uh, by yourself um, again and again. So if, if there is a plus and minus, one uh, practices school algebra for combining two fractions, one uh, sets up common denominator and gets uh, laminated, right? And then imaginary part uh, cancels in the denominator and uh, comes into full square in the denominator. Whew. Okay. So this is the stuff that we were analyzing and uh, interpreting as uh, increase of the width of the Fourier distribution. If you look on this problem from different angle, if we look in the if you take wave function in the momentum space, which which is our C sub k distribution that we got in the polar and for the unit. So it is C sub k and C sub k star. We take uh, square of it and uh, it can be interpreted. It can be interpreted as uh, e to the power minus momentum squared or bit in the momentum space. But making a com uh, comparison with these two uh, equations, bit, which must be in the denominator, and here we have bits parameter from coordinate space. So bit in the momentum space is uh, plant constant square over the bits in the uh, coordinate space. Right? So we, we just said it uh, by this, we said this definition, telling that this is the parameter that is in the denominator of the, of the exponential. And then, then we set up this uh, sigma p in momentum space. And after that, we may want to have width in coordinate space, width in momentum space, and then we set up their product. And uh, since width in the momentum space does have width in the uh, coordinate space in the denominator, we can practice we can practice cancellation. And then the first term will uh, contain only the uh, will contain only the plan uh, uh, square. And the, the uh, second term will grow quadratically after we, we practice uh, all constant that we just here. Make sense? And uh, at the beginning of last meeting, you just recorded by your own words. Like, if you know velocity, you cannot know coordinate. If you know coordinate, you can know velocity, right? So it's basically what, what this equation tells. Okay. So, I check for the this time. Yeah, but what it means. Um, okay. Um,
in our TV series, you make a little screen. Okay. The goal that uh, we are going to pursue now is to check our second hypothesis. We need to prove that center of the uh, wave packet. And I didn't introduce this word, but distribution of the probability to find out in uh, space. View move constantly with, uh, with, with the same velocity without changing linearly. This is this sounds very reasonable and intuitive from um, our common sense. But since quantum theory offers us a lot of surprises, one would like, one would need to prove it. At most with mathematical derivation, at least with some uh, convincing logical arguments. And as a byproduct of pursuing this goal, uh, we will learn new technique, new theoretical technique to predict future that was not mentioned before. And later on, we will just make our arsenal of, of tools uh, richer. And then this, uh, as in, uh, if one needs to repair something, the larger amount of tools, the more powerful you are, you can fix more things. So you will get a new tool. So um, the goal is to just prove linear motion. And the idea that we, I, I'm just looking forward into maybe end of Friday lecture or Monday lecture. If our goal is to find expectation value, which is by the way, the, how to say, one of your uh, assignments for the homework, find X, with, with brackets. And in homework, you'll find it just for, for a single time. Now we have a goal to find it at any time. And here is the very unusual out of box logic. If we need only one variable position as function of time, why should we process and deal with wave function, which is, has infinite number of uh, parameters or complicated functions. Can we write an equation that will focus only on the position of this uh, electron in average, average position, and just inherit all quantum properties, but predict it in the same way as people uh, were doing in classical uh, mechanics and classical theory. So this is a noble goal to uh, reduce amount of calculations to make the life simpler. For, for, for those who decide to do calculations. Um, make sense? Now, on the board, you have two uh, lines. First one is regular time dependent sharing the equation. Wave function in some sense can be interpreted either as function or as a uh, vector with infinite number of elements. And, we, and the operator can be interpreted as a matrix, infinite times infinite, infinite squared number of elements. So if you do it, the, the top equation can be uh, read as uh, time derivative of the column with infinite number of elements equals matrix, infinite square, acting on the vector with infinite number of elements. Row by column, matrix by column. Now, if we set up a practice to think out of box all the time and do some crazy things, what if we apply operation of making transposing if you transpose the whole equation and make the conjugation. So if it is a matrix equation that we make transpose, it means we flip a uh, matrix above the main diagonal and in vectors, everything that was column will become row. Everything that was column, row will become column. 
Make sense? So we, we just practice transposing operation to the top line. And then and uh, the transposing and uh, conjugation, complex conjugation. Together, this operation transposing and uh, conjugation as are called Hermitian transposing. And uh, when we were going over the uh, postulates, it was somewhere as a requirement with uh, small uh, fine font. Don't forget that all operators must, must be Hermitian because the people who were designing these postulates were preparing us for today's meeting. So after we practice this uh, transposing, the, there is a necessity to keep uh, respect to the row by column rule. And in order, if you want to multiply wave function and uh, operator of energy, which is a matrix, it is, it is possible only if we swap their, uh, their order, their order. So look here, before it was matrix acting on the vector. Now, if it is a, because it was column, now if it is a row in order to practice row by column, we need to multiply the uh, wave function, the matrix from left to the right. So it is dictated by rules of operating matrix. And you have a little star, which means it is conjugated. It is conjugated and transformed. So let me know if uh, any, if uh, this sounds uh, strange, if you want to oppose it or, or just want more comments. And the goal uh, for the remaining of the meeting is just to accept this idea and uh, uh, chew it from different sides. So here is an equation that you uh, practice or we all will practice as soon as we need to predict situations in, in real life. So if you do know the wave function, if you do know the operator of the observable, we can find expectation value. So in this equation, the psi on the right is regular wave function, and the psi on the left is uh, Hermitian transpose. So if you practice rigorous math, this one should be like rho, this one should be like co, and then the uh, operator should be like matrix. <laughs> Just, just in case, if uh, the word transposing induces irritation or you, you don't like it, so everything that was imaginary flips the sign in front of imaginary unit, and everything uh, that was a matrix flips around main diagonal. So, um, so we, we have if it is x, y, z, w, x and w stay in place, and y and z swap the swap the order. And uh, if you have real and diagonal matrix, obviously the information is greater than the okay. 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 So, if just by rules of linear algebra, if you have uh, this construction matrix times columns, and we apply this transposing then it will be equal to uh, this construction to transpose rho vector of the, of the uh, wave function and transpose the uh, operator of total energy. It sounds a little strange and too early, but uh, we are going to use so-called Dirac notations if you were maybe already start a little bit when you see this angular bracket it means uh, those notations are designed to bring unified description of both matrices and uh, functions because there, uh, as you see from me mumbling the stuff 
there are some similarities between functions and, and, and matrices. And if we want to say something general without specifying is a continuous wave function or discrete set of uh, uh, values as a, as, a, as a vector, one uses the same angular bracket uh, symbol. Okay. Before conjugation, total energy acts from the wave function from left to the right. After conjugation, the uh, Hermitian conjugated total energy operator acts on the conjugated wave function from right to the left. I, I'm not going to prove it. I'm just bringing it up as an element from, from linear algebra. But if we start believing and we start feeling comfortable about this aspect, later several things will bloom very soon. So, uh, and I'm just discussing the same thing again from, from these different aspects. So, if uh, we consider our matrix, uh, our operator as matrix, so square, our wave function as a column vector, then after the conjugation, it will be followed by matrix. So, if you believe this uh, transitions, then after applying conjugation here to the time dependent Schrodinger equation, we are getting Schrodinger equation for the conjugated wave function. Make sense? So, uh, I'm not sure if I have more, more slides. I'll, I'll check in, in a second. But uh, a little note that may uh, please surprise and uh, feed your curiosity. Prepare for something unusual. So the time dependent part of the uh, wave function in the regular case was E minus I H bar energy times time, right? If you know the energy. Now, if we practice the conjugation, which includes swapping the sign in front of imaginary unit. So here we had minus. After uh, going into this conjugation, we will have time dependent factor as plus I over H bar E T. So this can be interpreted as so the energy stays energy, imaginary unit stays imaginary unit, Planck constant stays imaginary unit. But uh, now we can consider that time goes not forward but backwards. So in some sense, the conjugated wave function corresponds to the universe where time goes backwards from the future to the past. I'm, I'm not offering a working time machine to change the history. But in, in this uh, abstract world, we can play mathematical games and expand, learn what was in the past, if you know the, the present, by uh, working with conjugated wave functions. Because formally, the time axis flips when we, when we do this conjugation. Maybe it will uh, bring a more interest and it will leave traces uh, in your memories. Okay. And I believe that we are not going, yes. So we will use these two statements how uh, about propagation wave function from the past to the future and from future to the past when we will start next meeting. So these two things, these two like building blocks, will be a key factor to uh, our small problem. Prove that center of the wave packet 
expectation value of position of the weight packet moves linearly with constant velocity. So we will address our main question. But as a byproduct, there will be a very strong and important uh, new tool that will allow to uh, give up wave function and focus only on the, on the observable that we need to predict. It's just a little heads up to uh, what we will do on Friday. So um, after we are done and we depart and adjourn from the meeting, I will look once again uh, through the choices and uh, we'll negotiate one by one so that we have non-ambiguous schedule and feel uh, my preference to those who didn't vote, who, didn't, who was not present here. So we were saying something, something doable so that we have schedule. Today is Wednesday, so at 5 p.m. Uh, I will be in the QVB 132 and I will try my best to go uh, over all subjects if time allows. Um, Yes, I think you always have hearing. I think you have uh, most. So, um, in the previous two labs, we quickly went up to, I think, uh, first five things. But uh, I will quickly review them today and we'll try to, uh, to go over, uh, over the last three. What uh, what I may miss and postpone to the uh, next meeting is animations. Those are quick to do, but they need to, for me to switch style of thinking. It's maybe like additional five minutes, but in, in, in a very different, different, uh, different style. And wait, since we want to predict future, we want to predict how things are changing over time. Um, we will need this animation. So, meeting is done.